Hello friends, a warm welcome to each one of you to this very important session on the importance of public participation, awareness and advocacy in sustaining cleanliness. As you all know, cleanliness is a very important aspect of our lives. According to the World Health Organization, keeping ourselves and the environment clean is a very important for being healthy as a healthy environment provides us with includes safe food and water, clean surroundings and clean air. So let, come, let us see what are the three important initiatives in sustaining cleanliness. They are public participation, awareness and advocacy. We will be discussing about each of these aspects individually. The first aspect, what is the role of public partnership in sustaining cleanliness? Let us discuss the importance and benefits of public participation. Cleanliness begins with the individual taking ownership and then moves on to the family and then to the community, to the town, the state and then to the country and finally to the world. So in a nutshell, we can say that Cleanliness begins with an individual, but the, the individual passes on to, the, to his family, from the family to the society, from the society to the community, from the community to the town, to the community, then to the state and then to the country and finally it spreads all over the world. Further, local governments, agencies often undertake cleanup efforts amongst the residents to foster a sense of responsibility amongst the community. Also, waste management is not only the responsibility of the community government, but also the responsibility of the individual as well. Hence, there is a, the relation between cleanliness and public partnership is undeniable. Hence, sustaining cleanliness is not only essential for the nature, natural ecosystem, but very much essential for creating a safer and healthy environment for the future generation. Come, let us discuss the role of public partnership in sustaining cleanliness. We all know that cleanliness is an ongoing process and this needs to be sustained in the long run with sustained individual and societal efforts. Partnering with local NGOs is another way of sustaining cleanliness by undertaking cleanliness drives in lanes, public spaces, beaches and other areas with sustained support from both civic agencies and local bodies. If one area city is clean through public partnership, such initiatives can be replicated at state, country and even world level to create a better place to live for all. So this was all about public partnership. Now let us see the role of awareness in sustaining cleanliness. We all know that self-discipline is very, very important as far as cleanliness is concerned. And this self-discipline is inculcate, inculcated in individuals starting from the childhood and it is mainly imbibed by the child since childhood from his caregivers, which is mainly the mother. So the self-discipline about cleanliness has to start at the individual level from, cleaning, uh, from childhood onwards. Further, as an individual, we also need to be aware about the role of the five R's in our life, which needs to be inculcated by every individual. Like refuse. Refuse means you need to refuse plastic whenever, whenever you are going to a shop to buy vegetables. Please refuse the plastic which is being given to you and instead use clothes bags. So you need to, uh, as at a in an individual level, you need to refuse use of plastic and buy only reusable products. Second is reduce. You need to reduce usage of harmful and wasteful products. And harmful and wasteful products means uh, pure plastics like plastic related items. All this are chemicals and plastic related uh, things which you need to reduce in your daily life. Next comes reuse. You need to reuse your items instead of buying the new ones. Like uh, the cloth bags which you use, they can be washed, cleaned and again reused. 
So similarly, such reuse related items you need to reuse. Next is recycle. Many a times we need to convert our waste materials into new objects. Like supposing if you buy a bottle of jam and once it is finished, you can reuse that bottle into storing something or you can also make it as a uh, pen, uh, pen stand. So that's why you need to recycle the waste materials into some new objects which you can use in daily life. Next is repurpose. You can use unwanted materials like clothes and repurpose something very useful in daily life like making cloth bags from old clothes. You have jeans, uh, old jeans at your home. You can cut it and make them into wonderful durable cloth bags which you can use in daily life. Next is, as an individual, you need to be aware about the recycling of water and water management in an effective manner and it is very important for sustaining cleanliness as well. Being aware and working towards creating a green environment at home is also another very important aspect for sustaining cleanliness and uh, mainly you can create a kitchen garden in your home. This also goes a long way in sustaining cleanliness. Apart from this, diseases can be reduced and health can be improved by being aware about the importance of cleanliness in daily life. You can also keep your home, office and surroundings clean, something which can be in, uh, inculcated in individual life or in our daily life. So this was all about creating awareness in sustaining cleanliness So now we have covered mainly two aspects that is importance of public participation and awareness in sustaining cleanliness. Now we come to the other very important aspect in sustaining cleanliness which is advocacy. Advocacy plays a very key role in sustaining cleanliness by influencing the policies and practices affecting the life of people. In fact advocacy implies Getting the support of others, which include government, residential societies, NGOs, clubs, others in sustaining cleanliness. Advocacy also can help improve the public understanding of the various issues of cleanliness like keeping our surroundings and environment clean, improving upon the air quality and effective manage waste management practices and other means. Further, government initiatives like cleanliness drives, swachta pakwadas, and other cleaning initiatives are also measures of advocacy in sustaining cleanliness. Uh, some of the school initiatives like campus cleaning, green eco clubs, green ambassadors, and other measures are also advocacy initiatives. NGO initiatives like beach cleaning, community cleaning, public parks cleaning, and other advocacy measures are also very important in sustaining cleanliness. For the club initiatives and activities like community cleanliness drives, health checkup camps, pollution control initiatives also significantly contribute towards sustaining cleanliness. So, concluding after this, uh, concludingly, I can summarize after discussing the three very important aspects like public participation, awareness, and advocacy in sustaining cleanliness. We can conclude by saying that the world is one big family. Uh, it, it is basically a translation of the Sanskrit is Vasudeva Kutumbakam, which appears in the ancient text Maha Upanishad. This phrase conveys the idea that all people are interconnected and should be treated with love, respect and compassion regardless of their dis differences. The concept of Vasudeva Kutumbakam is an ancient philosophy, Indian philosophy that emphasizes that unity of all living beings, including humans, animals, plants, and more. The idea is that the divine created all the things to coexist in harmony, and hence the concept from an individual to the world as a big family is very much essential in sustaining cleanliness. Concludingly, it can be said that everyone needs to maintain cleanliness, whether it is an individual effort, collective effort or a government effort. Hence, public participation, awareness and advocacy are very important in sustaining cleanliness and more than an activity, sustaining the activity should be the motto for one and all. So, with these words, I end my session. 
However, before ending my session, let me acknowledge uh, my wholehearted gratitude to our regional director, Dr. J. Stroti, madam, who assisted with the inputs for the preparation of this presentation. I'm also grateful for the to Sri Mohammad Ansar and Ms. Reshma Suresh for giving me the technical support for conducting this Facebook Live. Next, I would like to thank you all for listening to me patiently. Thank you once again.